Well, now that we're all relaxed, we can enjoy this next story. In honor of Black History Month, we are celebrating the amazing people, organizations, and Black-owned businesses in our area. And Mac Fashion House offers everything from couture evening gowns, bridal wear, African-inspired necklaces, apparel, and one-of-a-kind streetwear. Yeah, they even released a new home decor line, and they offer different sewing cl classes out in the community. And our segment producer, Rio Barber, went to meet the owner and the head designer, Carlise. Alicia McManus, who's been designing clothes for over 20 years. Take a look. If you're looking for a beautiful gown for a special occasion or want to rock a unique custom jacket for a night out on the town, you can book a private shopping session right here at Mac Fashion House in White Center. Let's check it out. At a younger age, I just played with my Barbies and I would always restyle them and I always look back and think, that's my very first collection, I didn't even know it. My mom sewed, my aunt sewed, so I learned how to sew, you know, just from being around them. And I would just alter my own clothes and make little fun party outfits for me or my friends when we go out. Always wearing color and print and texture. I would never wear black, it would always be some sort of color. And it wasn't until later that I was like, you know what, I think I need to do this. This is one of my fun and funky pieces. <laughs> and so this was actually an old t-shirt that I had from many, many, many years ago. I remember initially when I started designing I didn't know of any other uh, black designers who did it professionally. I did what, quote unquote, you were supposed to do. I went to college, worked in the corporate world, and just um, looking back, found it very, very unfulfilling and was very unhappy. Moved away for a while, tried to live in a different state. Really wasn't my style, but even when I lived in another state, I started sewing for people in the neighborhood. So it was always in my in my DNA. Carlicia, <laughs> yes. this is so cool. Yeah, thank I you, thank you this. so much. Yeah, the detail. Tell me all about this. My son's old jacket he couldn't wear anymore, and I was like, this is a good jacket. Let me do something fun with it. If you see the back, that's when it's like, okay, I'm militant but I'm cute at the same time. Put on a jacket, walk out with your head high, and let that day be your runway. When I moved back home, uh, uh, someone suggested, well, why don't you go to design school? And I was like, ding! So you can put this on, it has a cute little three-quarter length style. On the back, if you really want to show it, you gotta like, force it. You can stitch it up, let the people know, now I'm not just ordinary, I need to have my stuff. Fabulous. It has definitely come with a lot of hard work. My family had a house in the central area and I stayed in the house when I was in design school. So I slept in my closet and had all my cutting boards, sewing machines, and everything in the bedroom. And all through design school, I literally slept in my closet and designed in the room and, and continued on until I opened um, my very first studio. That's how serious I was and that's how dedicated I was to make what I love doing into a reality. So I love doing asymmetrical kind of off shoulder things. People know when I make things, I don't always tie things in the middle. I <laughs> like things got a little off, a little skewed. So that's kind of how I uh, came up with this concept. And this is made from uh, upcycled and recycled with materials that I had. This was an old leather couch that a friend of mine took apart and gave it to me. <laughs> of course, I created the little rope necklace and the beads I had. And because, you know, it's a costume and it's modern time, um, there's a cell phone problem. <laughs> Once I realized that we were a direct descendant of the uh, transatlantic slave trade, it just made sense. And I was like, oh my God, that's why the connection has always been there. So it just makes me feel proud to be able to make clothing that you can wear every day that shows off that beautiful heritage and those beautiful traditions and just, you know, celebrate yourself and your culture. It can actually be worn as a belt. And this is a three strand rope necklace. So this is a uh, custom dress for a client. They are a uh, music artist and they are having a dancer in their video and so they needed the outfit. I've worked with a lot of people but I think what's most memorable for me is I enjoy helping people feel good about what they have on. And I've had people come in who hate their body um, and want an outfit and I make an outfit that they love and they just, they're like, thank you. I didn't know I could feel this good in a garment. That's the leaves. Yes, I'm right? Obsessed. Yes. I think at the end of the day, that's what makes me the most happy. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Work it. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, see? I've loved my journey in fashion. I've, it's, it's taken me to places that I never thought I would have the opportunity to go. I've been to South Africa and Zimbabwe and I've done a fashion show there. I was featured as one of, a, of the black American designers at a women's international conference. That was an amazing experience. I've done shows in Pittsburgh. I've done Canada Fashion Week. Just recently, I've uh, been to Paris. And I never in my wildest mind when I first started my business, because I just wanted to do what I love. I literally just wanted to do what I love. Never thought that it would take me to other cities and countries 
to show my design. So I think that's probably one of the most exciting things about being in this business. Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah, this is amazing. Love all the ensemble. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. To check out her upcoming shows. We have a link yes. to that up on our website. And make sure to make the world your runway. runway. <laughs> Okay, I need more Rio as a runway model. I was She's just gonna amazing. Say, do you think we're gonna lose her to the runway world? I don't know. <laughs> that was so cute. Uh, Such cool designs. Yes, too. absolutely. They were actually featured at the Mopop through the Eyes of Art Fashion Show last week, and the latest designs also showcased at the rooms on the runway event in March. Yeah, we've got a link up with all that info on our website, fox13seattle.com/studio13live.